hello everyone so in this video we are going through the female reproductive system and the topic is menstrual cycle menstrual cycle in human being the process of periodic preparation of reproductive system for fertilization and implantation of the fertilized ovum is called the menstrual cycle each menstrual cycle is followed by a periodic vaginal bleeding that is known as menstruation so what is menstruation menstruation is the periodic vaginal bleeding that occurs at the end of menstrual cycle in female the first menstrual cycle begins nearly at the age of 12 to 14 years and this age it is known as menarche starting from 12 to 14 years the first beginning of the menstrual cycle it runs throughout the 50 up to 60 years and when the menstrual cycle stops it is known as menopause average duration of menstrual cycle is 28 days but it may vary from 21 to 35 days the first day of menstrual cycle is counted from the day of bleeding or the menstruation the day bleeding starts that is the first day of the menstrual cycle there are three phases of the menstrual cycle number 1 menstrual phase about 1 to 5 day so here we are considering 28 days as a normal menstrual cycle and we are dividing the days according to this so menstrual phase it is 1 to 5 day proliferative phase 6 to 13 day and secretory phase 15 to 28 day 1 to 5 day that is known as the menstrual phase from day 6 to 13 but here it's a menstrual cycle so we also include the day 14 in ovarian cycle at the day 14 ovulation occurs but it's a menstrual cycle that is also known as endometrial cycle specifically related to the uterine endometrium so here we are not considering the ovulation but ovulation is still there so here the proliferative phase of the menstrual cycle continually from 6 to 14 day including the ovulation at the 14 day and after the ovulation phase it is known as secretory phase starting from 15 to 28 day so here the proliferative phase is also known as follicular phase and secretory phase is also known as luteal phase now that is the complete menstrual cycle here the menstrual cycle includes both ovarian cycle and the endometrial cycle we already seen the ovarian cycle in this video we are continuing with the endometrial cycle only so here the ovarian cycle day 1 to 13 it is pre ovulatory or follicular phase day 14 the ovulation occurs and day 15 to 28 it is known as post ovulatory or luteal phase of the ovarian cycle in the endometrial cycle the menstrual phase day 1 to 5 proliferative phase day 6 to 14 and secretory phase from day 15 to 28 all right so that is all about the menstrual cycle it includes the both ovarian cycle and the endometrial cycle now we are continuing with the endometrial cycle now here for better understanding we are going through the menstrual phase at the end and starting from the proliferative phase day 6 to 14 now which are the changes occur in the endometrium in the cervix and in the vagina in the proliferative phase day 6 to 14 in exam there will be the question of endometrial cycle you have to write only the endometrium but when there is a question of menstrual cycle then you have to write everything about the endometrium cervix and vagina plus ovarian cycle also if there is specific question is added to the menstrual cycle okay so starting from the changes in the endometrium here we are going through the changes in the endometrium through different points so we are going to see the thickness of the endometrium first second angiogenesis related to the arteries third related to the veins fourth related to the endometrial glands and the fifth myometrial excitability in the proliferative phase from day 6 to 14 thickness of the endometrium increases to 3 to 4 mm which is less than 1 mm at the end of menstrual phase at the end of menstrual phase thickness of the endometrium is only 1 mm but proliferative phase increases the thickness of the endometrium up to 3 to 4 mm angiogenesis 
formation of more number of spiral arteries that increase the blood supply to the deeper layers increase blood supply for the promotes the growth of the uterine mucosa endometrial veins also grow in size endometrial glands growth is stimulated the gland contains the glycogen but they are non secretory here it's a proliferative phase so the endometrial glands are non secretory however the growth of the endometrial gland is increased or stimulated myometrial excitability increases due to the effect of estrogen so here specifically the proliferative phase is depending upon the estrogen now changes in the cervix in the proliferative phase increase in the alkalinity and elasticity of the cervical mucus at the time of ovulation the cervical mucus is thinnest and its elasticity is maximum it can be stretched like a long thin elastic thread up to 8 to 12 cm that is known as spin barket effect the mucus also produces a characteristic fawn like pattern when a drop of the mucus is sprayed on the glass slide and allowed to dry so that is known as fawn taste fawn appearance is present only in the proliferative phase near to the ovulation estrogen dependent increase in the cervical secretions so it help the sperm to pass easily through it now changes in the vagina under the effect of estrogen vaginal epithelial cells become cornified or keratinized here the cornification index increases from almost 0 on day 1 to about 100 times on day 14 so these are the changes in the endometrium cervix and vagina in the proliferative phase now we are continuing with the changes that occur in the secretory phase from day 15 to 28 here also we are going to write including the endometrial thickness arteries veins endometrial glands excitability all these five points you should include endometrial thickness increases and at the end of secretory phase it increases up to 5 to 6 mm as progesterone promotes spiraling of the blood vessels blood supply of the endometrium further increases secretory phase is basically due to the effect of progesterone hormone here the endometrial veins form venous lakes and anastomosis mucus secreting endometrial glands become elongated and coiled these glands secrete thick viscous fluid containing the glycogen and the myometrial excitability decreases due to the effect of progesterone so all these changes that occurring in the endometrium favors the implantation of the fertilized ovum in the walls of the uterine cavity but if fertilization does not occur there is no pregnancy the corpus luteum in the ovary involutes to form the corpus albicans on day 26 of the menstrual cycle now here day 26 of the menstrual cycle onwards the levels of estrogen and progesterone fall suddenly and due to this there is end of the secretory phase of the endometrial cycle now changes in the cervix in the secretory phase under effect of progesterone cervical secretions decrease in quantity and become thick tenacious and cellular so that is about the cervical mucus fond pattern is not seen now the last changes in the vagina in the secretory phase under effect of progesterone vaginal epithelium proliferates and secretes a thick mucus the epithelium is infiltrated with leukocytes and cornification decreases so these are the changes that occurring in the endometrium cervix and vagina in the secretory phase of the menstrual cycle now here it is the menstrual phase day 1 to 5 that is also known as bleeding phase 24 hours before the end of menstrual cycle there is a sharp decline in the plasma levels of estrogen and progesterone that is the cause behind the menstrual bleeding average amount of blood loss during each menstrual cycle is 30 ml but it may varies now the mechanism of menstrual bleeding that occurring from day 1 to 5 day at which the bleeding starts 
that is the first day of the menstrual cycle so how the bleeding has been occurring in the menstrual cycle so here the intense spasm of spiral arteries occurs that leads to hypoxia and ischemia what is the reason behind this there is a local production of leukotrienes and prostaglandins due to this there is a necrosis of the striatum functionale of the endometrium now what is happening due to this blood vessel gets open up due to this opening of the blood vessels there is seepage of blood into the surrounding endometrial necrotic tissue due to this there is gradually starting of the separation of necrotic tissue and it occurs in patches and completed in 3 to 5 days that means not all the separation of the uterine wall necrotic tissue occur at a same time but it occurs in patches for example some on the anterior wall some on the posterior like that for example all these events results in the menstrual bleeding the menstrual blood contains tissue debris prostaglandins and fibrinolysin so that's how the mechanism of menstrual bleeding occurs now in the menstrual cycle we saw endometrium changes cervical changes and vaginal changes now which are the changes that occurs in the fallopian tubes during the follicular phase there is increase in the number of cilia of the epithelial cells of the fallopian tubes and increase in the rate of beating at the time of ovulation the motility of fallopian tubes increases and during the luteal phase under the influence of the progesterone there is increase in the secretion of epithelial cells this provides nutrition to the ovum incoming sperm and fertilization of zygote occurs so these are the changes they occurs in the fallopian tubes during the menstrual cycle now which are the hormones that gives the backbone or the management of the menstrual cycle includes both the ovarian cycle and the endometrial cycle here the main hormone these are the fsh and lh luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone that are released from the anterior pituitary gland in the proliferative or follicular phase there is little rise in the fsh has been noted at the time of ovulation specifically lh surge occurs the highest level of the lh is the main reason behind the ovulation here also there is little bit increase in the fsh level but fsh level is not more than that of the lh so lh is the main hormone that is the reason behind the ovulation in the post ovulatory phase or in the luteal phase or in the secretory phase the fsh and lh level continuously reducing and up to the normal level now what about the estrogen and progesterone just before the ovulation the estrogen level is increased and this estrogen is specifically managing the pre ovulatory phase of the ovarian cycle and secretory phase of the endometrial cycle after the ovulation there is sharp decline in the estrogen level but there is sharp and gradual increase in the progesterone level this post ovulatory phase or the secretory phase is mainly managed by the progesterone although there is little bit effect of estrogen is always there but specifically managed by the progesterone hormone so these are the fsh lh estrogen progesterone role in case of ovarian cycle and endometrial cycle and overall menstrual cycle now the applied aspect first amenorrhea that means the absence of menstrual bleeding or periods there are two conditions primary amenorrhea and secondary amenorrhea primary amenorrhea that is due to the maturation failure and menstrual bleeding has never occurred in secondary amenorrhea there is cessation of menstrual cycle in a woman who previously has normal and regular cycles here the pregnancy is the most common cause of the physiological amenorrhea but other causes may include the emotional disturbances environmental changes and hypothalamic and pituitary disorders now hypomenorrhea that means scanty menstruation menorrhea that means abnormally profuse bleeding metrorrhagia that means occurrence of uterine bleeding in between the periods oligomenorrhea that means infrequent and reduced frequency of menstruation 
dysmenorrhea that means discomfort menstruation or painful menstruation now the premenstrual syndrome about 7 to 10 days before the end of the cycle some women experience symptoms like irritability lack of concentration feeling of depression heaviness headache and constipation so all these symptoms collectively known as premenstrual syndrome i hope via this presentation now you understand about the menstrual cycle endometrial cycle If you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends batch groups and colleagues